Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Good morning everybody, good morning. Welcome to John and the Bike and welcome to a new ride for us. We're heading to um, Chester, uh, we're heading from Chester Street, well no, we're heading from Beamish I should say, through to Sunderland. Um, it's a completely new route for us, we've never done it before, but Katie? Never done it. Sorry, there's Katie over there, sorry. <laughs> yeah, got Katie here today as well. And we're heading through from Beamish through to Sunderland and back, uh, through the Roker and Sunderland. So a completely new route for us. I've obviously gone down this route like towards Chester Street on my bike a few times, but I've never gone through to Sunderland. So that's where we're heading to. I'm going to try and go that far. I'll see. I'm going to try and go that far, everybody. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to try because Katie's, this will be the longest ride for Katie for a long time, isn't it? Yeah. What's this going to be? If we do the whole lot, it's about 30 miles, isn't 30 it? Miles. Or just over 30 miles. Um, so we'll see how we'll go. But uh, so hopefully it's going to be good. And it's a nice day. I don't see through the trees there because we're in the middle of the trees at the moment. It's quite a bright day as well, so hopefully it's going to be nice weather. Going through the tunnel, woohoo! <laughs> oh, you missed Katie doing the legs there. <laughs> so, yeah, as you know, I've been down this track quite a few times on the mountain bike, but never on the phone bikes, so this is the first. And I've never been through to Sunderland, even on the mountain bike. Never been that far. I always tend to turn off at Chessie Street, so it's first for us. Because it's the first for us, I've also got the crew with us today as well. Just to keep us right. So when I'm on the folding bike, I tend to not want to use any cycling gear, if that makes sense. Apart from my helmet, of course. I don't have any um, cycling stuff on. I have t-shirts and me sh normal shorts on. I try and keep it a bit different. So it's a little bit of a different experience on the uh, folding bike than it is on the normal bikes, like the road bike or the mountain bike. Um, but today, I brought the crew along because this route is new to us. We've never done it before. So we thought we'd just stick the crew on. It'd be just easier. Yeah, so I've stuck the crew on there on the phone bike there and I've downloaded a map so hopefully it'll keep us right <laughs> we won't get lost hopefully we won't get lost kid yeah hopefully not no, we it's going to be all hills coming back yeah so it's all, all slightly downhill all this way that we're going now um, gradual downhill which means it's uphill at the end yeah so when we come back it's going to be slight uphill all the way back it's not a steep hill but it's still a hill but it's a nice surface though isn't it Katie? As I've showed you this before, it's a really good surface. Very popular with everybody, cyclists, walkers and everybody down here. So I'm just showing Kitty here, this um, man sculpture, the man face. I've seen it before, um, and you've seen it on this channel before. But uh, Kitty's not seen it before, so she's going to explore. I've never been on the other side. Kitty's off exploring. <laughs> Are you exploring? Oh, somebody's honking at you! <laughs> somebody's honking the horn at you! Miles. Yeah! Pencher. See a pencil monument, can you? That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think it was uh, commissioned by um, Sustrans when they did this, uh, opened this trap. We've just been past some um, signs actually to say that they're doing some upgrade work on this, aren't they? Doing some upgrade work to this, this cycle track. I don't know how, how much they can upgrade, like, because it's already absolutely brilliant. If you look at the surface here. So we're still heading down this way. We're going to be soon down towards Chessie Street. And so up there is where normally we are pull off. So this is all new now. This is all new, oh yeah, the map. Little, uh, is it a map or is it a oh, little mur mural? Yeah. Oh yeah. Some glen, some oh yeah. Glen, concert, That's pretty it's cool, isn't it? Head. So we've got a fantastic mural here. Coast to coast, down at the side there. We've got Workington, Whitehaven, Keswick. Penrith, Nenthead, Rook Hope. This is obviously the coast to coast route. And then we are here at Chester Street. That as well killed that though. That's the whole route, obviously. Laid out. That was brilliant. That was well killed that. And then this side, we've got the history of the local area. We've got a cool little hedgehog here. And then we've got obviously the miners, wheel, and then we've got the Lampton Worm with the Pension Monument. There's the Lampton Worm, look at that, how cool is that? Railway. The railway, yeah, railway down the end there. Because the, the Lampton Worm is 
the legend is, is that that worm wrapped itself around the hill. The pension, there's grooves still in the hill on pension as well. Because the lamp worm was a big monster. That was a legend around here, the lamp worm. Fantastic. <laughs> it does good peak teeth, actually, yeah. So we're going underneath the year one at the moment. It's a cool graffiti there. So this is the year one above us. It doesn't look wide enough, does it? But yeah, that's the year one, alright. So we're now on the other side of the motorway now. Heading towards um Do we head towards Washington Katie first, I think? Yeah, I've got no idea neither. I'm following the uh, route here, and we're on the right route. <laughs> I'm following the crew. Yeah, I've got I've got no idea where I'm going. This is all new to us, isn't it? Yeah, completely new route, got no idea where we're going. It's all exciting. So we're gonna head over the railway tracks now. It's the main east coast line that is down there. Be pretty cool to see a train, Katie, wouldn't it? You see the angel from here, can you? Right in the distance there, I don't know if you can see, but the angel of the north, right on the horizon. Right over there in the distance there, that's the angel of the north, I think you said. Yeah, this must be the being east coast line, yeah. Pretty cool spot if you're a train spotter. Oh, right. So it's just if you want to go to different places. So we're going straight ahead towards Sunland. So we could go down that way. It's quite an extensive route actually around here, isn't it? And we're heading this way towards Sunland. Sounds like we're near a school, doesn't it, or something down here? A lot of children right in here. We literally don't know what's all around the next corner, do we? <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? Are you excited, cousin? Yeah, I'm excited. Are you? Like exploring. Yeah, do I like exploring, yeah. We do. It looks like exciting. It does indeed, that's true. That's true. As long as you don't find the lamp and worm in the way. Yeah, we don't want to find the lamp and worm. Yeah, I can remember my mum and my grandma telling us the story of the lamp and worm when we were young. And the story was there was a, um, a knight, I think it was, who, to defeat the lamp and worm, you got some armour. Eh? Because the lamptoworm used to wrap itself around people, and you got some armour and put some spikes in it, in the armour, so that when the lamptoworm wrapped itself around him, it speed itself, like, you know, spiked itself on his, on his armour. And he had a sword which was like, like a wavy sword, a strange kind of shaped sword, which he slayed it with, and that was in Durham Cathedral for a while. I don't it's still there, no? But it had like red up the side, and with like rust or whatever it was, and people used to say that was the blood of the lamptoworm. So yeah, love legends like that. <laughs> Gonna make this town sound to go tunnels. It's a big tunnel coming up. We have to do tunnel sounds, Catherine. It's a law. You have to. There we are. <laughs> so we're pedalling through, I think Washington area, isn't it? I don't know, Washington, coming towards Washington. Yeah, we think we're in the Washington area that we're going through. It's hard to tell because you can see we're just in this kind of tunnel of green. Houses. There's houses on the right there, yeah. It's a very good route so far though, and a good surface too. Mostly tarmac, really. So we've come off the woods a little bit now, a bit more open. It's warming up a bit, kid, isn't it, as well? Well, we're behind here, I think it looks a bit, and there's Pencher on the, on the rise in there, Pencher Monument. So we're not far off Pencher, obviously. But then again, you see Pencher, Pencher Monument for a long way away, can't you? But look like we're quite up high here. Yeah, looks like we're slight downhill gradient. Still following the crew. Yeah, you don't need a computer. We, we bought a computer just to be uh, on the safe side because we, so we had no idea what the route would be like, how well marked it would be, whether it'd be like, you know, any confusion and sending us all different directions, which it could do yet, who knows. But just doing the safe side, normally we'd actually have the uh, phone, just have the phone in our pockets, but I just thought it'd be just quicker just to download a route, stick it on the crew there, and uh, keep, us, keep us right. So we've just crossed the road here, behind us, and we've got Sunland, eight miles to go. So the sign says eight miles, but my crew says, oh there, 9.6, so maybe it's a little bit 
a little, bit dist a little bit more on this track, on this route that I've got downloaded, who knows. We shall see, we shall see. But so far it's a good track, well signposted and really good uh, surface to ride on. Just a few ruts here and there off the trees, the roots coming through from the trees through the path, but on the whole it's good, very good. So we've come off the tarmac for now and we're going through more of a kind of a, a rough track. But still not too bad, not too bad. So be careful on this bit of the track folks because there's a sign there which is only small you can miss it because it looks like you go straight down but you don't, you go up that way and that's what the uh, crew says as well there if you can see hopefully with the sun so go up that way but yeah you could easily just zoom down there and miss this because from back here this this left turn is actually hidden by the bushes I think I smell fish and chips coming out of that bang that's a fish up just there you know these uh, fallen bikes aren't meant for this kind of terrain you can see behind us yeah, especially further back up there, it was really rocky, but they do it really well actually, they manage it really well. And the game is pretty good as well for the hills. So yeah, good bikes these little tilt 120s are, really good little bikes. That rattling here by the way is my big bag I've got in the front here, because we keep all our bits and bobs in that. That's what you can hear rattling, it's not the bike. <laughs> so we're coming down now beside the main road. Just come out of a, come out of a small path up there. Hit this main, well, beside the main road. Another good track, this one. This is better, isn't it? Not as gnarly. In the corner of the crew, we turn right at this roundabout. That's a cool signpost. So, Fatfield, where we've just come from, concert, 17 miles. Stadium of Life, 5 miles. Sunland City Centre, 5.5 miles. And down there is the Washington Wildlife. Kids just saying actually if this route was dead straight it'd probably be about three miles long wouldn't it? Because <laughs> it winds and twists all over the place. So we're heading down down the side of the A19 now by the sounds of it. We think that's the A19 on the left here. It sounds like the A19. Crazy road the A19 is. But we're not on thankfully. We're on here. Pension Monument in the distance there. How cool is that? So here we are beside the river. That's looking very, very nice. Look at that. Looks like a giant poo. Looks fantastic that though. According to the crew, we're about four miles out of the centre of something. I don't know how far into the centre of something we're going to go, but we're nearly there now, folks. We are nearly there. There's a ship, look, folks, over there in the distance. You can see it's just near the opposite shore there. And down there, underneath the bridge in the distance, there's the Stadium of Light. The Southern Football Day Team Stadium. Right in the distance. We've done a wedding there, kid, haven't we? We photographed a wedding there. There's the details of the bridge, folks. First bridge over the river Weir in 40 years. Nice. In Sunland. It's within a 50 mile radius. 69% of the workers, yeah, live within a 50 mile radius. Over 1 million hours worked on the project. Three years to build from 15 to 2018. 24,000 tons of concrete. 5,500 tons of steel. And 20, 27,000 vehicles expected to cross every single day. That's a lot. And the uh, high pylon is taller than any other building on our bridge in the northeast at 105 meters. The pylons weigh 1,550 tons, and 2,000 people worked on it. That's pretty How impressive. Much it cost? 117 million? Yeah, 170 million on budget, yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So there is the Stadium of Light. We're now in the middle of Sunderland. We're not sure actually if we're going to get to the end of this course because there's signs all over saying uh, the route's closed. But it was like t last year, 23, so we're not sure if it's open now again or what. The same with some 23, so we don't know. We don't know, but it's nice down here. If it is closed, it'd be a nice place to sit and have 
have a sandwich or something. So we'll just see, just see what happens. It's an adventure, isn't it? Oh yeah, we're right down the riverside now. See the cranes here. But it's closed now, Papa. Is it now? Sandwiches, Kitty, is it? Nope, exactly. We just stayed in line. We are in Sunderland. Yeah. We're just not right down the seafront, that's all. No. So we are, we are in Sunderland. We've done what we said meant to do. I think we're only like a mile away or something from where we want to go. We'll look at the cranes. I'm saying. Are you happy? Yeah, I watch cranes. I like cranes. Oh, look at them, Katie. Look, little uh, plaques. Yeah. Yeah, well, it'll be um, tidal, won't it, now down here? Yeah, we've just discovered why it's closed. Yeah, that's what it is. They're building a bridge. We couldn't understand why it was being closed for so long. That's where it is. So we've reached the end of this track. This is it, guys. Coast to coast route. Footpath closed, yes. We couldn't work out why it was closed because it says 23 on the sign. You can just see underneath the graffiti there. 23. Um, but they're building a bridge. That's why. It's a bridge getting built. You can just see the crane there. The supports and things. It looks like they're building a bridge of some description across. You can see just, just beyond. Just over there, they're building a bridge. So that makes sense. That makes sense, doesn't it? Why it's been closed for so long. You can't do it, but you have to go. Yeah, you can't do it. You've got to go up there and go some steps and things and go through the town. But we don't want to go through the town, do we? We're not going to go through the busy city centre. So, yeah, we'll we'll stop here. I think we've only got... Um, let's have a look. 1.7 miles. Just over a mile left. Stop yeah. So that's all we had was just a mile left. So this is a nice place down here to sit. So we're going to stop down here and get some to eat. So we're going to sit here. Along the side of the river here, with these seats here, and enjoy our sandwiches. Of course, Katie's bought some food. I didn't know she had, so that's a nice surprise. So it's a nice sandwiches that Katie's made for us. Very kind of her. And now we're heading back along the river bank here in the sunshine. Actually, it's got nice now, Katie. Okay? Yeah. I bet they did. Yeah. Been sitting down watching the, the crane factory over there. We nearly got there at the end. It was literally like a mile, mile and a half away from it, so we're not going to fuss too much about that. We're going to head back. On a nice sunny afternoon. It's actually gotten better and better, hasn't it, Kate? As the weather's gone on. Yeah. It's got warmer. How are you doing, Katie? You're getting tired now? Yeah. Well, you're doing well so far. I'm very well. This will be the farthest ride you've done. 30 months. Maybe it's ever? Have you done 30 miles before on your phone bike? Um, I know you have, you know. I don't think you have. We're going the right way here. Yeah. We went off course back there because there was two cars parked in front of the entrance so we couldn't see it. Yeah, we went of course a little bit back there. <laughs> Instead of going to a housing estate. Kate's getting tired now, but she's doing amazing. She really has. This is the longest route she's ever done on the full bikes. Definitely. Longest she's ever done on the full bikes, and she's doing amazing. Because lots of the little tiny, little steep little hills all over the place. Just small hills, but they all add up, don't they, when you're tired. And there's John. John on a bike, on a bike. John's made me cycle all the way to Sunderland today and he's absolutely worn me out. We didn't even get an ice cream because we didn't even get to the coast. I only went that far to get an ice cream and we didn't even get one. Isn't that awful everybody? Let's do a poll. <laughs> now John's taking Fauna with him. Look at that, that looks really pretty doesn't he? He's trying to decorate his bike everybody. Looks pretty. Look how far we've got to go down this path. <laughs> Not take John long to catch up. Because he's so much faster than I am. But it doesn't bother me that I'm slow. 
because I'm out and I'm on my bike and I'm enjoying myself and I'm having fun and I'm out with John and that's all that matters because he's my best friend isn't that soppy but it's lovely and it's true here he is look at that how cool is that fantastic love it so we're heading now back towards Chester Street area got a few miles to go yet but we're heading up back way back that way and uh, yeah it's going good it's going good we're getting there we're getting there it's been a good ride so far very very good and the weather's been lovely this afternoon it goes well doesn't it <laughs> that goes really well <laughs> So we've done 28.5 miles at the moment. Get back, we'd have done 30 miles. And uh, it's been a good ride, really enjoyed it. Good route. Katie's very tired, aren't you, Katie? Absolutely. <laughs> she's shattered, but it's the furthest route she's ever, ever mind, done on any bike. any bike, apart from the electric bike, obviously. I've never even done this far on my electric bike. Yeah, I think it just 40 on the electric bike once. But yeah, but that, but that was with some help with the power, obviously. So the further she's, she's been on this bike and any other bike, apart from her electric bike. So yeah, it's been a good route. Pretty good uh, track most of the way, Katie, hasn't it? Yeah. Pretty good. Um, it's a shame it was closed at the very end, but it didn't really spoil the ride. We were only like a mile or so away from there, from, away from our destination, Sutherland. And the weather's been fantastic, as you can probably see behind us here. Look at that, beautiful weather. So as always, thank you very much for joining us. It's goodbye from me. Bye. And it's uh, goodbye from a tired, very tired Katie. Take care of yourselves up there, and I'll see you all later. See ya, bye bye.